there's a really special song on this record. Um, it's called Give You Peace. Um, this song is inspired by a great friend of my wife that later on I became really good friends with after uh, I met my wife and got married. Her name is Brooke Rains. Um, she battled a disease for about 15 years. Um, this disease caused tumors to grow in the brain, brain and spine. Um, they weren't cancerous, but they'd grow so large they'd have to remove them because they started peeing on parts of her brain and spine was just dangerous. So as they would begin to, she had about 25 plus operations, and in these moments they began to take pieces of her away with the tumors. And so as the years went on, you know, it was hard for her to talk, to hear, to listen, you know, to speak, as well as to walk. Um, so the last year and a half uh, for life, she, uh, she was bedridden. Um, and it, it was tough to watch that. But what was so amazing about her um, is that she understood her purpose. She understood why God had a, you know, had a reason for her life. She never was like, why was I given this body? Why was I given this disease? What am I supposed to do with it? She took it on, was strong with it, and was able to be an amazing testimony to doctors, to nurses, to children who she loved so much, even into my life, my wife's life, and so many others, as well as her parents. Um, and there's a moment where the song kind of came from the whole idea of peace and how God just ushers into our life and gives us these moments of peace and strength. When she was getting a halo put on her head, which helps stabilize the neck. Now it's a pretty abrasive and painful procedure because they, they screw right into the skull. And my, my wife knew what time the surgery was, so my wife just took time and just started praying. And my wife told me that, you know, she said, I just pray that God would give her peace to this moment. And a couple of days later, Brooke called my wife and said, you know, it was amazing. As I'm lying there on the table, and right before they started the procedure, in my ear, I heard a whisper, an audible voice say, I will give you peace, I will give you peace, and I will give you peace. And she was stoked. The doctors were blown away by her strength during this moment. So I had been wanting to be a part of writing a song of her inspiration in my life and Emily's life, my wife, um, to bring encouragement and hope to others. Because that's what she wanted. She didn't want to think about her. She wanted to understand that we're given these things sometimes in, in this life. And sometimes rock who we are. We're not expecting it. But God comes in and begins to use us in our weaknesses and our brokenness and his glory and his strength pours out his strength is there and he's able to use all things and um, so this song really gets into the heart to reach out to those that are battling with diseases or lost loved ones anything in, in their lives that has been catastrophic to them to know that God will give you peace so this song really holds a, a really deep meaning I know into my heart and my life and I know these guys sharing the story and being able to write the song with Shannon and Sarah Reeves uh, helped co-write the song which is a great moment to actually get a chance to write it and then the bridge uh, the bridge talks about, you're beautiful, beautiful, perfect in my sight. Righteousness adorns you, my bride. And what was amazing when I got a chance to share the song with my wife, which you always do. When you have a new song, you got to go to the wife or your parents or whatever. you got to see what they think. And as, this, as I got done with it, my wife's bawling. And I'm like, yes, yeah, a home run, you know. But what she picked out of it was, was in the bridge where it talks about being a bride. And my wife's like, how did you know about the bride? I was like, well, what are you talking about? She's like, you know, I, I just had a conversation with Brooke and said that the one thing she was looking forward to when she died was to, to meet Jesus and be a bride for the first time in her life. Um, and she just passed away this past, last May in 2010. And I know she finally got a chance to be a bride. And um, it's just awesome. So we just hope this song really speaks to those and gives people peace through some really tough times. Yeah, her testimony, uh, I never had a chance to meet her, but spoke to and still speaks to me just that, that, that faithfulness to... Christ.